Hi, for this video what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot and also how to find the correlation coefficient using the TI Inspire graphing calculator. Um, just as a reminder, the correlation coefficient is only telling you how linear something is, so you always want to start by looking at your scatter plot before you decide whether to um, put down the correlation coefficient because if you have a non-linear data set, you would not report the correlation coefficient. So with this, what we're going to do is we're going to um, put our explanatory or our X variable into our spreadsheet, and we're also going to put our response or our Y variable into our spreadsheet. It is very important to remember which one is explanatory and which one is the response. In this case, we're trying to say that the age um, is the explanatory, it explains the blood pressure, and we wanna see if there's a relationship between those two values. So what we're going to do is I'm going to plug the, or at this point you would take and plug this information into a spreadsheet screen on your calculator. Um, I have already entered it, but I would show you, I'll show you what you would do. So starting from the home screen, you can either start with a new document or you can push this button right here um, to say that I want to create a spreadsheet. I'm going to go to option four, the current, because I've already created this. So what I have done is I've already created a column for age and one for blood pressure, and then I put all 10 values already in here. So I've already put all of the information in to my calculator. The nice thing about this is you can actually name your variables instead of using L1 and L2 like the TI-84 does. After you've put all of your information into your calculator, we're gonna hit Control I, and remember what I said, we're gonna look at the scatter plot before we find the correlation coefficient to make sure it's appropriate. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a data and statistics stream. So Control I, Option 5. Down here we want our X or explanatory variable. So remember that our age, I have done some other things on here um, because I ran some regression analysis beforehand. That's why there's so many variables on there. So I would put my age here and then over here we would do our blood pressure. And if you notice, I really, really, really like this feature on the TI Inspire graphing calculator because it automatically sets up a scale for you um, that is useful. So if you have to do a scatter plot by hand, you always wanna put your scale. It also names your variable. So like for age, it names it, and over here it names our Y variable or our response variable, and it also gives us a scale. You can also hover over the points and it'll tell you what those points are so you can see the ordered pair um, to help you out if you're putting it down onto paper. Um, but it is very nice to have this feature. And if you look at this, this is very linear. So we, I would say that a linear equation is um, appropriate for this. There's only one point that really doesn't fall in a very nice line and that's this point here. Um, but it's still enough of a linear pattern. So what we're going to do now is since we determined that yes, a linear is appropriate, I'm going to find the correlation coefficient and the correlation coefficient is a very long process to do by hand. Um, it, it takes up, you have to add like three extra columns to your X and your Y and add up a bunch of things. Um, so it's easiest to use technology to do that. So if you're looking for the correlation coefficient R, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna control I and I'm gonna add a calculator screen. So I just wanna go into my calculator screen. After that, I'm gonna to go to menu and option six statistics and stat calculations. And if you notice, there's two options for linear regression. I will talk more about this in another video, but in order to find your correlation coefficient, you have to use one of these. It does not matter which one you pick. I'm just gonna choose option three. Um, and it's gonna ask me for my X list. So remember our X list was age and our Y list was our blood pressure. And then I'm just gonna leave everything else as the default and click okay. And right here, this value R, the 0.967, that is our correlation coefficient. So um, our correlation coefficient is always R. You don't have to turn on any stat diagnostics. They're automatically on in the TI Inspire. In the TI-84, if you are familiar with that, you do have to turn that on to get this to show up. So R would be 0.968 approximately. So with this, remember that R, the closer it is to one, 
the more linear it is, but remember that you do have to make sure that there is not a curve or some nonlinear pattern because sometimes your correlation coefficient alone um, could be high and close to one, but a linear equation is not appropriate. So you never want to just report the correlation coefficient. Let me just define this as correlation coefficient. You never want to put this down alone without looking to make sure a linear pattern is appropriate first because the correlation coefficient tells you how linear it is and you could have something that's um, non-linear it's more of an exponential function but your correlation coefficient could be close to one your correlation if it's a positive association like if i go back to look at the scatter plot um my scatter plot shows that as my age increases, my blood pressure also increases. So this is considered a positive correlation. Your correlation coefficient will always go with the same slope. If your slope is positive, your correlation coefficient will be positive. If your slope is negative, your correlation coefficient will be negative. So make sure that you do watch for that because there is a difference between positive 9.68 um, and negative 9.68. Um, but with this, hopefully you now understand how to find the correlation coefficient and also how to create your scatter plot in your TI Inspire. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.